Good morning, students. This is Manoj Kumar, Assistant Professor from Kathathu Institute of Technology. So, in the previous YouTube lecture, we have come with what is AI, what is machine learning, okay, what the machine will do, everything. So, there are five steps of the machine uh, machine should do. First one is data should be data storage, data preparation, train the model, uh, test the model and yeah, that is testing is nothing but evaluate the model and evaluate the performance okay so now you are in which step so data is already there now you have to work on some machine learning algorithms to train the model so you are in which step now third step train the model next you have to evaluate the model and evaluate the performance so three steps you have now you are in the middle step training the model okay so now you come for the simple machine learning algorithms so first you have knn next you have naive based next decision tree next regression next neural network and finally support vector machine okay so this all, all these concepts along with some program examples also now you have to understand so think you have to understand them going for program so you have to understand what is the concept so understanding the concept and when you can apply this algorithm so that will that will mean a lot okay rather than going for the programming code first you have to understand when this particular algorithm are in use okay so for that we go with the first one k n n so k means k is a number of values or elements n n means nearest neighbor okay so that i will tell i will be telling you in this coming lecture okay k nearest neighbor algorithm okay so it uses information about a examples k nearest neighbor to classify unlabeled example so think you are having okay so i will tell you an example okay so first there is a basket of vegetables basket of fruits and basket of curry leaves okay so only two is enough fruits and vegetables now you have one item so to which particular basket you have to put okay so that way that is the one item that one item we call it as unlabeled example so that particular unlabeled example is to be put to the nearest neighbors so you want to predict whether that unlabeled, for example, I am having a tomato. Okay, there are two categories. One category is vegetables, the other category is fruits. So now you are having tomato. So where you will be placing that, whether you should place it in vegetable and you will place it in fruit. Okay, so how to find that? So keep in your mind. So input is there. Come for the machine learning. Input is there, output also i have given this should be the output for that you have to write the program now input is vegetables and fruits output is tomato now you have to place where it should go whether it should go for the vegetable part or you should go to the fruits part that we call it as k nearest neighbors algorithm a simple easy to implement supervised machine learning algorithm it's very easy with widely used with a k what is k K is any number of nearest neighbors could be used. It is a variable which tells any number of nearest neighbors. Okay, so come. What are its uses? It is used in computer vision applications like uh, character recognition and facial recognition, predicting whether a person will enjoy a movie or music. You can predict, okay, identifying patterns in gene data and classification. So now you come for this nearest neighbor classification here you see so what are this screen this screen are the number of items and red is also number of items so what is this black this is the unlabeled one so you have to make sure whether it will go for the greener part or it will go with the redder part so here you are getting each and everything so greener part are one type of data red part or one type of data now in between you are having green so green means unlabeled but you have to predict 
whether it will go with a greener data or it will go with a red data depending on nearest neighbors okay so how to find the nearest neighbors now you come for this particular example so now you see i have taken example is tomato a fruit or vegetable okay so if it, it is a fruit or vegetable now you see here so i have taken three baskets here okay so three baskets this is the unlabeled so you are having where the various labeled of uh, data okay this is y now you have to this is x so vegetables x1 proteins x2 fruits x3 okay now you have to tell whether this tomato unlabeled unlabeled variable is tomato now you have to place whether it should be in proteins or it should be in vegetables or it should be in fruits now see here so come for that whether you have whether which is the nearest one so how do you find the nearest one by finding the distance between you and the nearest one okay so ningu matte nimpa atridal iravartu distance kannidi beku okay so how you find the distance that we will tell you okay so what you have to find now you see here this is the tomato tomato is very near to nuts here it is very near to green bean here it is very near to grape and orange so is it near to fish no it is not so nearest items are nuts green beans grape and orange so depending on near distance now you are placing that one okay so how you find the distance find the distance between tomato and nuts find the distance between tomato and green bean find the distance between tomato and grape find the distance between tomato and orange how you find the distance so that will be the very important concept okay so locating the tomatoes nearest neighbor require a distance function i have already told to find the nearest nearest means using distance only requires a distance function or a formula that measures the similarity between two instances okay so knn uses which distance euclidean distance so keep in your mind knn algorithm will use euclidean distance okay where p and q so are the examples to be compared each having n futures so what can be p and q so tomato will be p and nuts will be q tomato will be p green beans will be q tomato will be p grapes will be q like that okay compare the examples to be compared each having n futures so come for p1 the value of the first future of example p q1 value of the first future of the example q okay so how you find this is the distance formula dist of p comma q is equal to square root of p1 minus q1 whole square plus p2 minus q2 whole square plus pn minus qn whole square that this is the euclidean distance formula using that now you have to find so come for the euclidean distance okay so distance formula involves comparing the values of each future okay so what are the futures now you have to see so see here so here it is how sweet sweet is the one future crunchiness is the another future okay sweet is one future and crunchiness is the another future so x and y axis like that only you have to take x axis you are having sweet and crunchiness you are having at another y okay so so which comes here you see apple will uh, banana will go how sweet it is okay and see how crunchy the cucumber is okay so now you see to calculate the distance between tomato and green bean so where is tomato here it is tomato here it is green bean so how much is the sweet and how much is the crunchiness for tomato sweet is this one sweet is this one so green bean sweet is less tomato sweet is more tomato sweet is equal to you have to assume with some values okay i will i am telling you there is no value 6 or 3 so compare both okay so comparing the both you see tomato is at green bean is at lesser sweet tomato is at greater sweet similarly crunchiness tomato is crunchiness is less 
green bin crunchiness is more so take the same example so for example i will take tomato sweet is more crunchiness is less green bin sweet is less crunchiness is more use the formula so 6 minus 3 whole square plus 4 minus 7 whole square so what you will get that will be the distance okay so similarly similarly you have calculated with what so you have calculated with green bean that is green bean is having sweet 3 crunchiness 7 now you go with the next one so which is the next one you have taken grape so grape is having sweet is more compared to tomato crunchiness is more compared to tomato so compared to tomato grape is having both as more okay similarly you can you have it for nuts so come for nuts so where is nuts here so sweet is less compared to tomato and crunchiness is more compared to tomato so tomato you have to keep it this one as constant there will be no change but only green peas green bean grape nut orange you have to do so out of the now you calculate the distance so distance is two four three and one okay so out of that which is the nearest one you are having okay so nearest one is so nearest one is one so what is the distance k is equal to one so when you are getting the nearest one orange so according to our thing orange is the nearest one to apple so for that now you tell tomato is a fruit because orange will come under fruit so see here where is the orange here orange is here so orange is very near to tomato so that that's why we tell according to this k is equal to one that is distance so distance is equal to one now we tell fruit orange is the fruit so tomato is equal to fruit so now you go for the three k is equal to three so when k is equal to three what you are having nuts okay so under nuts now you see it is a protein so under protein what are all the things you are having so it is orange grapes and nuts so see here orange grape and nuts orange and grape are there okay so the orange and grape is similar to nuts orange is okay means grape is also okay as you grapes is okay nuts are also okay so now i i will be telling orange grapes nuts among this majority class fruit majority class is orange and grapes are coming under fruits nuts are coming under where is the nuts nuts are coming under the proteins so which is the majority orange and grapes are fruits are two nuts is equal to one so now you tell tomato is also a fruit okay so that is the next thing now you compare it with three okay so what is one value that is nearest one is orange that is been from the formula from 1.4 you have taken this okay is equal to one okay so that is up to measuring similarity with respect to distance in k nearest neighbor algorithm understood i understood this particular thing i thought you got understood so now you have calculated all the distance now i will be i will be shifting from i'll be shifting from this to our programming part okay so come for the programming part So I am again starting this particular session. Now you go open the Chrome browser, go with the Google. Before that, you go, you have to log in. So log in with your Gmail account. Okay. So I've already logged in here. You can see inbox I have set. So now inside that you click on Google Collab. Okay. So going for the Google Collab, you will be having this one. Okay so now if you are very new to do go for a new notebook but i have already done so i will be opening that particular thing
Okay, so this program is for finding k nearest neighbors. You have understood the concept, right? It's very, very important. So kindly understand. Using Euclidean distance, you will be calculating. So first, once you got this, you click on connect. It should be allocated the space. Understood. So once you get connected, now you see, I will tell you the programmatic example of execution of K nearest neighbor using in Google Collab. So K nearest neighbor, so first is broken down into three parts. So first one is calculate Euclidean distance, next get nearest neighbor, third one make predictions. So here I have taken the data. What is the data we have considered before? It is a tomato example we have considered. But here you see what is the steps and what data I'm going to consider. So a, a, while for explanation, it will be very difficult, kindly understand. So calculate Euclidean distance, get the nearest neighbor and make the predictions. That we have gone with a calculate each and every distance using P1 minus Q1, that is you have used the formula, right? So distance of P comma Q is equal to square root of P1 minus Q1 whole square plus P2 minus Q2 whole square dot 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 Pn minus Qn whole square. Now you calculate the Euclidean distance between two vectors. So Euclidean distance you have to calculate from row one and row two. So this will be given as row one and row two. So how to find the distance? So this is the formula I have told row one minus row two whole square square root of so this is whole square finally written square root of distance so what this one will give this one will give p1 minus q1 whole square okay so whole square okay but there is no square root finally you are having the square root of here okay so you, for this is the euclidean distance now you find the similar neighbors so finding the similar neighbors first you calculate the distance so this is equal to list we have taken. So now what is the training? So training means already the input is there, output has also got, so that's are called as a training. So test means input is there, output is not there. Depending on training, now you have to test. Okay, so keep in your mind, what is training means? Already orange is under fruits, grapes are under fruits, Nuts are under proteins, green bean is under vegetable. So each and every green bean is a X. Where it is, it is inside vegetable, that is Y. Okay, so where input and output are there, they are called as a training data. Where input is there and output you have to find out, they are called as a testing data. Okay, so distance first you take. First you have to go with all the training data. For all the training data, calculate Euclidean distance. So calculate Euclidean distance and append it. Okay. So next for each neighbor in the list, for i in range of neighbors, so give the neighbors dot append. So this is the programming code we have taken to find the most similar neighbors. So most similar neighbors, this is the code. Okay. So now from that, I have given the data set and I have to find the similar neighbors. So that is the example I have taken tomato like that to make you understand. But actually the data set will be like this only. Okay. So for that purpose, now you go with neighbors is equal to get neighbors. Okay. For each now, which are the neighbors one out of all this data, the neighbors one are this three. Okay. Now you have to predict. Okay. So predict whether that particular given data so given data where is the data this is the data set so now i have given test data function okay so this is test data set i have given so for that you have to find the nearest neighbors so which are the nearest neighbors so that it will predict on tell okay so this is the program i can't explain each and everything because you have to go with the uh, concept like uh, what is training data, what is testing data. So for that purpose, I'm going like this, okay. So now you come for your lab set program, okay. This will be very easy, okay. You can easily understand. 
this is an abset program that is program number nine program to implement k nearest neighbor to classify iris data set what is a data set iris data iris means what you have inside your uh, eyes that we call it as iris data print both correct and wrong predictions okay so for that first you see what should be there training and testing data should be there next you have to go with the uh, neighbors next you have to give the classification report and confusion matrix so these two things you will be understanding when i go after all the alg algorithms you go with a model evaluation okay model evaluate there you have to see first i go with the iris data with data as x and target as y now you are to going to split which are the training and which are the testing so keep in your mind i am again telling training data x means all the futures y means outcome okay so i have already told x means input and y is output so if training data means both x and y is there testing data means x is there y is not there at that time we call it as testing so x now you have to split x train x test y train y test so y test is equal to you have to test y train is also there but you what you have to find x train y train there are there because train means both x and y will be there testing input will be there output will not be there so input is y train and output is y test y test is to be calculated for that you go with train test split okay from data with the labels and test size is 20 so build the model so now you are split it now first thing is you have to find the neighbors so neighbors with x train and y train okay where you forget the neighbors neighbors are inside training data set so what do you contain under testing so testing will contain y train so no y test x test will be there y test will not be there so x train y train are there predicted data so prediction with labels so where you are going to predict so you want to predict the result of x test so x test so uh, for that you take it as y print so y train is to y test is to be predicted so that we take it as classifier dot predict of y print so what is testing data and what is uh, misclassification so confusion matrix and accuracy matrix it will be printed so data has been taken from where that is that iris data so this function will load iris data set from internet okay so no data set is there here you are going to take that data from there from the internet so that's why we have directly taken data sets dot load iris so it will load the iris data set so this will be a predicted and this will be no result so misclassification will be zero and this is the confusion matrix so you for now you understand what the came in and what are the steps so no need to go with a confusion matrix and accuracy and all okay so that we will tell when i go into the after model training after all the algorithms i will go with these two concepts only there you can easily understand it's nothing more okay so this is the program understood so now depending on that now you tell you can predict whether a tomato is a fruit or not okay so i thought i thought you have got understood this particular concept so one understand listen one by one so you have your written in your machine learning syllabus also so kindly understand this concept and uh, you go through the only the concept programming is not much required so that will be taught in the classes only so work on this and uh, if any doubts you can ask me okay hope well you understood this uh, k nearest neighbor algorithm with a uh, programmatic also kindly understand the concepts and work on it become machine learner okay thank you i will be ending this particular session here thank you one and all